Hi guys, a bit an unusual one, as you can tell that something's staring up at you. I'm trying out a lino print that my sister asked me to make for her. She really likes skulls and kind of the Alice in Wonderland kind of theme, but a bit more gothy. So she sent me a picture and she was like, are you able to replicate this in a lino print or any sort of print? And I was like, yeah, okay, I've got half a day spare. So I thought I'd try it out. This is the first attempt. As you may know, when it comes to liner printing, you may try and do as much as possible before doing a test print. Well, that's what I do anyway. I do as much as possible and then I do test print in order to show me what parts need to be taken away or anything that needs to be highlighted a bit more. And that's by taking away because when you get to a certain point, you can't add on any more texture. You can only take away which is what I've done here. I must say the um, amount of detail on this was extraordinarily difficult, especially for the size. I did think about doing a bit of a bigger size scale, but I think the size of this at the moment looks better. This scale, having a small print, because so then it doesn't take up a lot of room. Very lifelike, because I can imagine her actually getting this tattooed on her, like the actual photograph she showed me. So we're just going to line up and then do a test print. I do actually have another liner print underneath, which is the Glastery Festival one, hence why I haven't cut around it, I've just kind of done this line mark. I normally use this for my to-do list, but today's purpose is going to be uh, <laughs> printing. And as always, normally when it does, when I do a proper print on the paper, I will wet it, but because it is a new test print, it's just to show me what actually marks will turn up. And what ones I need to remove. Okay. I really like that, actually. It's kind of messy head, but in a very Tim Burton kind of design. I kind of wish I did a proper print now. Again, this is only a test piece from what I can see already. There's not much that I need to change, really. I think just sharpening up some of the edges to make these flowers look a bit more flowery because they just kind of look like screwed up bits of hair, which is kind of cool. Reminds me of Corpse Bride and like um, Nightmare Before Christmas, like their hairstyle. But yeah, really like it actually. Might change this flower a little bit because it looks a bit too childish. But I'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!